sports designers. Mike with Sports Templates back again with another awesome template from Sports Templates today. I'm going to show you how to use this new template to create this awesome Milwaukee baseball uniform. But before I do, please make sure you head down below, hit those like and comment and subscribe buttons and all that good stuff. And you will also find a link to the asset library used in this design so you can follow along. So you get all the colors and the logos that we use here. Uh, so again, don't forget to drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And okay, let me show you everything you get with this template. So today we're going to work on this front view, but you're also going to get the back view. You're going to get a back to back view so you can show the front and back of the uniform, or two different colors, whatever you want to do. And then you're also going to get this head to head template that includes the two pennants that you see behind. So you can do a team versus team matchup, show two different uniforms for the same team, whatever you want to do. So a lot of amazing options with this package all in 8K resolution, um, just insane how much you get with this. So before we get started, let's just zoom in real quick, take a quick look in a little more detail of everything you get. You can see you get the cap, you get the jersey, it's got an undershirt, belt, pants. There's actually two styles of pants in here. This is what we're calling the short pants. And then you also get just the full pants if you want to have the long pant design. So you can do either one of those and the, the shoes are customizable that go along with them. Um, so for this one, we'll stick with the short pants. And then of course you get the nice background that you usually get with the sports templates. Customize the text, customize the colors, shadows, all that stuff that you want to do. Okay, so let's go and, and get started on this. Um, we'll go ahead and start from the background and work our way up. I like to you know, get the colors set how I want to do them. So what we've got here is um, we've got sort of a dark blue, navy blue, royal blue combination where both of these colors can be featured in the, in the palette. Um, what I found is if I use this navy blue for my background color, let me select the background color and click on it. Um, now I don't want it to be so dark, so I'm just going to take the saturation and I'm going to cut it down to about a fourth of what it is. So um, half would be about 37, another half of that will just say 18 or 19. Um, so we'll call it that. And actually, you know, what? I don't, I don't like that one. That one's looking a little bit too dark. I'm going to switch to the royal blue, and then we'll just do the same thing. So let's cut this down to 25. Okay, that's great. So I like how that's looking. Um, good contrast for us. Let's change our text background. So if we double click here, we'll go ahead and change this to Milwaukee. And it's okay if it extends out beyond the borders. That's kind of a cool design. And actually let's change this bottom word to baseball as well. All right, and then let's go and start editing from the bottom up. So if we go, we're in the, I'm actually gonna switch to the long pants. I think our, our sample image had the long pants. So I'm gonna switch it to that. So if we go into the pants editable parts, um, there's a sneakers folder in there and we can change everything on the shoes. So if you wanna add a design, add some logos, you know, you can do that. Um, for this design, we're not gonna add any logos to the shoes. We're just gonna change the colors of everything. So I want my shoe itself to just be all yellow. And then I'm going to make my laces the nice royal blue. And that's the nice thing about these libraries. If you have these libraries and you select these color fill layers, you can just click on a color and it's going to fill with that color. And I'm going to make the sole color a navy blue, just for a little bit of additional uh, contrast there. The sole would typically, you know, maybe be a darker color on a shoe like this. Now we're going to head up to the pants folder. There's no socks here, obviously, because they're covered up. But if you go into the short pants, if you were doing a short pants design, there is a, a folder where you can edit the socks as well. So for this one, the thing that makes it easiest for me, I'm just going to select all of these layers. So I'm going I'm to click on this one. I'm going to hold down the shift key, click the top one, and I'm just going to choose my royal blue color and everything included in the pants and the belt is going to change to royal blue. Um, now you, you're not going to see all that right now because we have some of the designs turned on. So I'm going to turn those off, but um, you do have the option with smart objects. If you wanted to add a custom design to the belt, you can do that. You can add a custom design just around the waist part or on each of the pant legs. But for this one, we're just going to stick with colors. So I'm going to make the belt. That's the belt buckle. There's the sides of the belt itself. And then here's kind of the front part of the belt. I'm just going to make all that the nice kind of yellow color for some contrast. 
And if you wanted to, you can even add stripes using this template. Pre-built color fill layers with stripes that are warped to the shape of the pants. I'm not going to do stripes on this design, but I just wanted to show you that. Now we're going to head into the jersey editable parts. And we're just going to change some things. So again, I'm going to take everything that's in here and I'm just going to set it to this royal blue. And again, you're not going to see all of that right now because a lot of these have design options turned on. Um, and then I'm going to just change the ones I need to change. So I want to change the undershirt color, which is this long sleeve layer here. I want to change that to white. The buttons on the jersey I want to change to the yellow. Uh, the neck band, which is this, um, I'll zoom in on this real quick for you. I'm hitting just control or command and plus to zoom in and then I'm holding my space bar and clicking and dragging. So that's the inside of the undershirt. There's like a little band along the neckline there. If you wanted to do a design on that, you could. There's a smart object for that or you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. I'm just gonna make it white to match the undershirt. And then here we have, I'll zoom out just a little bit, control or command minus. Here we have the stripes. I just hit, I held down control and I clicked on the layer mask just to select it so you can see what this color fill is affecting. This is these stripes that run along here on the jersey and we're not gonna use those for this design so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna hit control or command D to deselect. And then I'm gonna leave these, these are the sleeve stripes. I'm gonna leave those on. And I think that's all I need to change right now other than turn off these sleeve designs and change the sleeve color to yellow because I want this to look like a navy blue vest with a yellow sleeve. Um, I'm going to turn off the jersey design as well. This is for this layer here is for if you want to do like a sublimated design on the jersey. It's not for the logos and the lettering and the numbers that you see on top. We have a different part of the template for that that gives them that embossed kind of 3D look. So I'm going to turn that off. And I've got everything here set the way that I want to. Now I want to go up into the this folder here, which is the Jersey Embossed Logo Graphics. And I'm going to scroll down to this red colored folder where it says add your design here. And we've got the design for the right sleeve and then the depth. So there's two different smart objects for each one, right? This is where you add the design. And this one, I'm going to zoom in and show you. So Controller Command Plus to zoom in. This one adds like the shadow that makes it look really three-dimensional. So you don't need to change anything in that one. It's just a duplicate with a different effects layers applied to it. So I'm going to go into the right sleeve design and I'm going to come up here to my library and I'm going to copy my sleeve logo down here and then I'm just going to position it, just position it about there. I'm going to turn off the number 31. I'm going to hit Control or Command S to save. And now you can see we've got our sleeve logo placed nicely. And then I'm going to turn off, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to turn off the left sleeve. I don't have anything on this design uh, on that sleeve. And then I'm going to go here to the jersey front. And just so I can see a little better, I'm going to turn on this background layer. I'll even set it to my blue color. And I'm going to start dragging in my word mark. All right, so we've got Milwaukee. And I think I'm happy with that position for now. It's okay that it cuts off a little bit because you can't see that part of the jersey anyway. I'm gonna turn off the number because we don't have a number on the front of this one. I'm gonna turn off the sample baseball. And I'm just gonna make this logo yellow. Now I wanna make sure I turn off my background color here because we don't want the whole thing to get the embossed look. We just want the logos to get the embossed look. So I'm gonna turn that off because we already have a blue color elsewhere. And here we can see now we've got our logo placed, our word mark and our brand logo. And you can see they've got the shadowing and the nice texture, different texture from the jersey, right? So you get that nice uh, look like it's applied on top of the jersey. And then we're going to go up to the cap. Let me zoom in a little bit more so we can go up to the cap and edit that. So we're going to go into the cap folder. Let me close a couple of these out so they're not in the way. I'm going to go up to the cap folder. We're going to go into the editable parts. And again, I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to set the color to the royal blue, even though it's not going to stay that way. So I'm going to turn off the bill design and I'm going to change the color of my bill to yellow. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna go into the, actually let's go to the, this is for the little holes in the hat. I'm gonna make those yellow too. And this is for the stitches on the hat. We're gonna look at that in a minute. This is for the full color of the hat. And then there's a clip back here that you can change. So I'm gonna go into the hat design and let's go ahead and change our background color to the royal blue just so we can see. I'm gonna turn off the grid. Actually, you know what, let's leave the grid on. The grid is useful for helping you place your logo in the right spot. So I'm gonna drag the cap logo in and I just kinda of wanna center it with this grid here. So somewhere around there is about where I want it. Now let's just turn off both of those layers. If you just hold down, if you click and hold, you can drag over multiple layers to turn them off and on rather than having to click each one. Let's hit Control or Command S and see how that came out. Okay, that's good. We've got our logo on the hat. Now, the stitches on the hat are running through the logo and we don't want that, right? So we wanna wait until after we've placed our logo to do this little trick. Um, make a copy of your stitch color layer. So select your stitch color, hit Control or Command J, and then turn the bottom one off. You wanna keep the original one because you're gonna need it in the future. You don't wanna do anything to um, sort of destroy it so that you can't use it um, in the future. So make a copy of it and then go to your hat design layer, hold down the control key and click on it and it's gonna select the logo that you've placed on the hat. Then click on your stitch color copy, click on the layer mask Make sure you have black set as your foreground color. If you don't, you can just press D on your keyboard and it'll set those colors to black and white. And then you can select X to flip it if you need to and make black the foreground color. Make sure again that you're, you have your layer mask selected. See how I have that selected there? Hold down the Alt key and hit backspace. And what that's gonna do is it's just masking out the stitches so that it looks like they're underneath the logo instead of running on top of it. And then you can do the same thing here on the bill, right? If you don't want the stitches to be a different color than your bill, you can just select control, hold down control, select your bill color layer mask there. You can see it selects the whole bill and then you've already got your stitch color selected. Again, you've got black as your foreground color. So hit, hold alt and hit backspace and it's gonna fill that with black. So now you have the stitches the way you want them to be but you haven't destroyed anything so later on if you go back to a use this for another design you still have all your stitches preserved on this main one so that's just a little trick you can do to set the stitches so i'm gonna hit Control command zero to zoom all the way out now we can see our finished design i'm happy with the way this came out but i do i do want to adjust my background color a little bit my sample it's just a little bit kind of a lighter blue kind of want to get it up here into this region, I like that. I like how that looks better with the royal blue. And so that's it. So let's just, let's look at everything before we wrap this up. I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see all the texture that we have on the pants. We've got like the leather texture on this part of the belt. Oh, you know what, let's change the belt buckle color. I, I felt like, I think it was all yellow in the sample, but I wanna make it a different color. So let's go back into the pants editable parts. And let's find our belt buckle. It's this one here. Make it blue. There you go. Now, I've, now we've got some blue hardware on there. So we can see the jersey texture, the buttons. You can even see down to the buttons. They've got the stitches on them. Zoom back out a little bit. We've already looked at this stuff up close. But let's just kind of look at the whole thing, right? So all the textures, all the way down to the shoes. Got the nice leather and mesh texture. The texture of the laces, the rubber sole. There's tons and tons of detail here. And the last thing I wanna show you, which is one of the cool things that you always get with the sports templates is the dynamic lighting. So if we go into um, any of the effects folders, there's gonna be a dynamic lighting smart object for that particular part of the uniform. So focusing on the jersey here, if I turn that on, you can see how the light is changing. So if you double click and go into that smart object, you choose the hue saturation here and go to properties, you can use this little slider here to dramatically change the light on your design. So if you wanted to make it look like there's a whole lot of light coming in from the right, kind of like I have there, maybe to fit your scene or just some other customization you want to do, you can do that, right? And then we can turn that off and on so you can see the difference. 
So that's pretty extreme, but just to illustrate for you, and you can always go in and make adjustments, right? So let's say we wanna change that just a little bit, maybe not so extreme, Control or Command S to save. And now you can see the difference here, right? So maybe you wanted to put a spotlight on it or just your scene has lighting that looks like this. Now you can do that for the jersey, you can do it for the pants, which includes the shoes, and you can do it for the cap all separately. So very, very cool stuff that you can do here with this template. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure that you head over to sportstemplates.net and pick this up. Again, you're going to get four different templates built in with all the different views that we looked at today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment with what you'd like to see next. Thanks, everybody.